I think this message today is a spirit-filled message for all of us in church. Thank you. I'm guilty of all of it. I go to church with pride. Hmm. And I feel putting my dirty money is what is all about worshiping God. Clear for my brother. Clear for my brother. You listen to that? Can you say humility? You say, go to church with pride and we put our dirty money and say we are supporting church. If you are supporting your church, whatever church you are belong, you are supporting your church with your money. What is the position of that church now? Man of God, this is a message my pastor have always been talking about. That try to do something in the house of God that will bless you and your family. Hmm. This message, if I have my way, I'll love it preach in my church on record so that people will know what it means to worship God. Clap we shouldn't be church goers. Yes, you that? For you doing something in the house of God with all your heart, you are doing it for your generation, your family. I, I told you about the issue of my mom. In those days when I was little, I would follow my mom. Mama would be, mom, later, he would start singing. I said, Mama, he will not answer me. I said, Mom, what are you saying? Anytime you are clean the bench, sweep the floor, what do you used to say? You always busy, mom. I see your mouth moving, moving. He said, ah, what I'm saying, my little one, I say God should clean my life, clean my children. I'm clean your house, Lord, clean. But today I can see indeed. <laughs> Go to the church and join those who are not your class. Where you become a stranger among them. And John, to humble you. This is what God want. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your thank, education. Thank you, man of God. Thank you. You listen to our brother. There are many things you can do. Any department. You say we are supporting our church. What is the position of church today in the world? touch with today's uh, message. I'm a person that keeps grudges. Before coming to this place, I'm, I'm holding a grudge. And with that grudge that I'm holding, would, if I've not had your message, if I read the Bible, I'm just wasting my time. Before coming here, my father slapped me for no reason. And that grudge is in my heart, and I came here. For what you preach now, I have to leave that grudge. I will develop the habit of doing away with the grudge hmm. so that this, the indwelling spirit of the Holy Spirit will come to me. If I don't do that, the Spirit of God will not come to me. And, and I cannot read the Bible slowly, attentively, and repeatedly. When you are disturbed. Clap for him. Clap so for him. I'm very happy Clap for, him. Clap for this message. Clap for him. Thank I have you, to sir. forgive my father. Thank you. Thank you. So sir. I can move forward. You listen to that? You say you want people to do good all the time, and you don't know that this life is two sides good, bad. You should be expecting bad, good, bad, good. You need more of these challenges. To strengthen you, to look proper, to look focused, you need more of slap, you need more of heat, you need more of uh, persecution. You have not yet arrived. This is the time you should be expecting persecution. People will embarrass you. That will help you to give yourself to prayer. The more you are embarrassed, the more you give yourself to prayer. I told you last time that our, our trouble help us to maintain our union with God. I'm happy to hear from my father here that he was unjustly slapped. I think it's, it's, it's good for us, for your strength. 
But most especially those of us that are strives to get to a certain position, those of us that yearn to grow in God, I just, if you're expecting this, take your time to read and to study the life of T.B. Joshua, my antecedent. When you look at my antecedent, you will see I have more degree in persecution than praise. But I'm not expecting praise. I'm not expecting praise because my reward is over there. Thank you.